Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Now, as you probably are aware, uh, yesterday, Prigozhin, the boss of Wagner Group, announced that uh, Russia, the Wagner Group, took over Bakhmut completely, took control of the city, and that the Ukrainians are done. Um, even Vladimir Putin, the president, came out and said, "Hey, yes, I congratulate you for you, congratulate you for that uh, achievement and so on." The Russian military said the same thing. So from that side, things are clear. From the other side, obviously, uh, they are not uh, conceding. They say, "No, it's not true. Yes, it's true. Might be true. What if? Oh, it doesn't really matter." So we have uh, about I don't know six or seven articles here that would show the the Western, not the Western, the other side's attitude towards uh, Bakhmut's loss. Why did I call it a loss? Because uh, I think that is 99% certain that uh, these guys are right, and uh, the way these guys take it is not very uh, fair play. Let's put it uh, funny, uh, in a funny way. So let's go with first article. First article is uh, from uh, Associated Press and Zelensky denies Ukrainian city of Bakhmut occupied by Russian forces. Well, he's in Japan, uh, he's informed by his people over there. That's good, you can have all this. As I said, actually everything will be clear or much, much clearer in 48 hours from yesterday evening, from probably tomorrow uh, evening or let's say on Tuesday morning, they will say, yes, we lost, whatever. Okay, so this is the first article. The second one is from The Insider, and this is from today, the May 21st, 2023. The other one was what? The same May 21st, 2023. So this is the same uh, May 21st, 2023, Sunday. Zelensky appeared to confirm Ukraine is no longer in control of Bakhmut. I have a little... Uh, uh, thing to uh, point out here is no longer in control. It hasn't been in uh, control of Bakhmut for a long time. Why? Because it didn't control Bakhmut. Nobody controlled Bakhmut in the past, I don't know, seven, eight months. It was disputed and the Ukrainians definitely were not in control. But let's move on. And I'm quoting, for today, Bakhmut is only in our hearts. So for today. Bakhmut is only in our hearts. Well, could be a confirmation, but uh, if you speak like this symbolically and, uh, you know, with all love and heart, uh, we can really know what's going on from your side. So Russian forces have been uh, waging a months long battle in Bakhmut. The fighting has reduced the city to rubble and claimed thousands of lives. President Zelensky appeared to confirm that the G7 summit in Ukraine is no longer, uh, that Ukraine is longer as they're no longer in control of Bakhmut. So this is what he says, let me see. He says here that um, his statement came after an uh, hour after Russia's defense ministry backed claims by the head of the Wagner parliamentary group that Russia has seized the city. And I'm, I'm quoting, I think so, end quote. Zelensky said, and I'm going again, but you have to understand that there is nothing. For today, Bakhmut is only in our hearts. Well, uh, I let me inform you that I think uh, it's all done over there. Unfortunately, for both of you, which is the Ukrainians, not you actually, for both of them, which is the Ukrainians and the Russians, not for Zelensky. Now, the next article. This comes from Reuters. Reuters. Uh, <laughs> listen to this. Ukrainian troops have partly encircled Bakhmut, still control part of the city. Uh, I don't know how to, <laughs> uh, it's like uh, you're, you're engaged in a, um, you're engaged in a boxing match and you barely stand up, you're punched by your opponent, uh, you're rope and doping over there, and then you keep saying that, hey, I'm still in the fight. Yes, you are still in the fight, but to say that you are, you know, doing anything but being a punching, punch, punching bag over there, it's a little bit uh, of a, <clears throat> a little bit of a big stretch. <laughs> so yes, the Ukrainians are encircling, almost encircling the um, the Russians. This is like someone punches you in the face, and you tell everybody that you, you your face actually punched the uh, fist of that guy. 
when actually it was that fist punching you. So, hey, I punched that fist so hard, man. <laughs> I showed that fist who's boss. Okay, so this is another stupidity. Let's go to the next article. This comes from Reuters. Reuters. What the hell is Reuters today? So this is from May 21st again, today, 2023. Ukraine says troops partly encircle Bakhmut, still control some of city. What do you mean partly encircle Bakhmut? What, what is that? But anyway, remember all these articles, my friends, because I will use them after really, really, really we find out what happened over there, 100%. So let's move to the last one, which is from the Kiev Independent. Prigozhin's claimed victory over remaining areas in Bakhmut purely symbolic, even if it's true. So this is the... So purely symbolic, even if true. Well, the thing is, when you can't reach the grapes, you call them sour. So uh, it's only symbolic, actually. But <laughs> if you look back in the past, maybe two months, at uh, almost all statements coming from uh, Kiev or the Ukrainian side, they uh, said that uh, they will never leave Bakhmut. Bakhmut, Ma Bakhmut must not fall. Bakhmut is important for uh, you know the reason that the Russians could expand into the or advance into um, Donbass, and uh, oh my God, in the, it's not good. Um, first, they said it's just symbolic. Then uh, it was that um, meeting between when the Americans told them, "Let it be, focus on the counteroffensive." This was this year, some. Uh, January, or January, I think, or that December, even December, Mark Milley, among others, and I'm not giving Mark Milley any, uh, you know, props here, because uh, probably you know my assessment of his IQ, unfortunately, and he's in charge of our security. That's great. So he said, I think, uh, for, for good reasons, hey guys, leave Mahmoud alone, focus on defending it in the back of Bakhmut and focus on counteroffensive somewhere else. And then there was supposedly a meeting between the Zaluzny, where we don't know where he is, and Zelensky, um, which he know, we know where he is, not in Ukraine. <laughs> he is waiting from far away what's going on over there. Are they going to hold it or going to lose it? Uh, anyway, that's the way I see it, at least. And uh, there was a conversation, what should they do with Bakhmut? And I think it was a little mm -mm -mm between Zaluzny and Zelensky. And they agreed, they met, supposedly, and what did I say supposedly? You never know what these guys did. Uh, they just tell you, hey, they met and they discussed and they agreed that they should continue and defend Bakhmut until the, oh, the last Ukrainian uh, dies. And it seems like we reached that point. Hopefully not. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Ukrainian dying because I don't want anyone to die over there. Uh, anyway, especially the Ukrainians or the Russians, if you know what I mean. So uh, now they turn it again to being symbolic. Even Reznikov, the, one of the four little pigs uh, in charge of Ukraine, supposedly, which I think uh, uh, Zaluzny could be the only real force over there because the other weapons, the other ones have nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not even balls. They have a lot of uh, chutzpah, though, and a lot of, uh, you know, arrogance. But it's okay. So... Um, this guy is uh, Reznikov, the Minister of Defense, if you can believe Reznikov in the Military of Defense of the Ukrainian nation. But hey, what do you want? You got Zhmihal, your Prime Minister, you got this guy, the President, you got the Yermak, the Chief of Staff of the Presidents. Who's representing the Ukrainian nation in, uh, in Japan, did you see? Zelensky, Zhmihal and Yermak. They met the world and say, hey, we are Ukrainians here. Uh, in charge of Ukraine, defending Ukraine, and you gotta talk to us. And everybody's like, who the f are you? Whoa, whoa. This is the same thing that ha as it happened at the First World War at Versailles, if you remember. Withdraw. Wilson showed up with a delegation, remember, with his, I don't know, 14 points or something. And uh, there were some who wrote books about that and said, uh, is this the American delegation here? Wow, I can't tell you more because we're on YouTube. But anyway, freedom of speech is 
just read the books and see how people, certain diplomats, were in awe. Oh, oh, what the hell is this? Are these Americans coming here? What the hell is going on? This is delegation. Anyway, and uh, it's true for the Second World War as well, to a certain extent, not as in the First World War. So anyway, these guys uh, uh, said that it's just symbolic, Reznikov said, it's just symbolic if the Russians, uh, I don't know, we don't know why the Russians want Bakhmut, but it's just symbolic. And then it became something like very important. And now again, because they lost, it's just symbolic if uh, they, if even if they, uh, they, they won over there, says the uh, Institute of Study of War, which is not an Institute of Study of War, that think tank from Washington, D.C. I've been watching and reading their uh, reports and statements and uh, they lost me when uh, that missile or whatever uh, hit the Avdivka uh, pre, how should I call it, uh, barracks location building where the Azov regiment was uh, imprisoned, if you remember, and uh, they blamed it was the Wagner group and then they blamed it was the uh, Russian military and then they blamed both of them. And uh, the Institute of Study of War did a very poor job in being objective and studying the issue. They came with heart instead of with, you know, they came with pathos instead of logos. So I said, ah, okay, you lost me, bye-bye. You need a lot of uh, evidence from now on to get me back in really considering you a uh, think tank. So anyway, uh, what do you think? I think Bakhmut is done and move on. Uh, go to your defenses in the back that you built already and fight another day. I've been saying this for some time. Leave it alone. You should have left it before and uh, focus on real war, not on this kind of war where you, you know, fight the Russians in the city and then you claim the Russians destroyed the city. Well, we're going to come and get you, right? Wherever we find you. If you're in the city on the toilet, we're going to find you on the toilet. If you're in the woods, we're going to find you in the woods. If you want to fight, if you don't want to fight, let's talk. Well, those guys did not want to allow these guys to talk because they didn't want to talk. So we have this little uh, ugly thing here. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.